Our first views of Space Shuttle Discovery as it bears down on the Kennedy Space Center. The two air data probes on the left and right side of Discovery's nose have been deployed. They are measuring the speed of the wind around the vehicle and updating the airspeed and rate of descent to the onboard computers. Discovery now five minutes from touchdown. It is traveling 850 miles an hour. It's altitude 11 miles. Sonic booms now heard at the Kennedy Space Center announcing Discovery's arrival. Three and a half minutes to touchdown. Discovery beginning this left-hand turn around this heading alignment circle. This will be a 252 degree left-hand turn. Discovery traveling 440 miles an hour. It's altitude four miles. Discovery beginning to line up with runway 15. This is the northwest to southeast approach at the Kennedy Space Center. During this point in the flight, the shuttle's descent rate is 20 times higher and the glide slope is seven times steeper than a commercial airliner. Space Shuttle Discovery now on final approach to the Kennedy Space Center. Just more than 30 seconds to go. Discovery's gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. The nose of the shuttle being rotated down toward the flight deck. The parachute being deployed. And nose gear touchdown and the end of a historic journey. And to the ship that has led the way time and time again, we say farewell, Discovery. This is Mission Control Houston once again. Space Shuttle Discovery sitting there on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center. Its wheels have stopped after 27 years of historic space flight. You heard Charlie Hobaugh, the Capcom, passing up some words of congratulations to Commander Steve Lindsay on a successful 133 mission. This legend has spent 365 days in space. 5,304,140 statute miles flown during this mission alone.